Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Amazing finds of Curse of Oak Island archaeologist Helen Sheldon. Curse of Oak Island has several archaeologists and Helen Sheldon is one of them who made some important finds. However, History Channel fans don't know much about her. Read on to find out more about the important member of the team in Nova Scotia. How long has Helen Sheldon been with the team? Most History Channel fans know about Miriam Amaralt and Emma Culligan. In the last season, they met an archaeologist named Jamie Coba. Along with Fiona Steele, Jamie unearthed some interesting earthenware. But what about Helen? She seldom appears on camera in the show, but she did make some significant finds. Helen Sheldon started working on Curse of Oak Island in Season 9, which aired in 2021. That was the season when Nova Scotia's Provincial Department of Community, Culture and Heritage made things a bit more difficult for Rick and Marty Lagina's explorations. Fans might also remember her from the Drilling Down spin-off. Finds and background of the archaeologist, monsters and critics did some research into the archaeologist and discovered that she'd featured in a whopping 27 episodes. The expert in excavation and artifact investigations is also a good data analyst. The outlet noted that she's been working in her career choice for more than 30 years. Helen Sheldon spent most of her working life in Nova Scotia, and the History Channel expert also worked on other sites like the Albion Mines Foundry. These days, she's a valuable member of the team who looks for treasure alongside Marty and Rick Lagina. The outlet also made a note of the finds that the archaeologist made on Curse of Oak Island. They include lead weights from Lot 5, which she thought might have been used for establishing the size or weight of gold. In Season 11, she found a hand-wrought iron spike. Rick and Marty Lagina are not the only ones puzzling over those strange structures on Lot 5. Helen is also trying to figure out what their significance is, were used for. Perhaps in Season 12, which is currently filming, she will help them come to a conclusive decision on that. Season 11 ended with a lot of disappointment. As winter drew close, Rick and Marty Lagina quickly assembled the drilling team, but to no avail as they found a lot of water in the garden shaft. The borehole at E5N14.5 also encountered too many issues. Helen Sheldon, a distinguished archaeologist with a penchant for uncovering the extraordinary, embarked on an adventure that would captivate the imagination of historians and treasure hunters alike. Her expertise and unwavering determination led her to Oak Island, a place shrouded in mystery and legends of buried treasure. The finds she uncovered there were nothing short of astonishing, each discovery weaving a richer tapestry of the island's enigmatic history. Helen's journey began with a deep dive into the lore of Oak Island. Tales of hidden treasures, ancient mariners and cryptic symbols had long intrigued her. Armed with cutting-edge technology and a team of dedicated researchers, she set out to unearth the secrets buried beneath the island's surface. One of the first significant discoveries Helen made was a series of intricate carvings on a large, flat stone. The carvings depicted scenes of ancient maritime voyages, with detailed depictions of ships, stars and mythical sea creatures. The craftsmanship suggested a connection to early European explorers, possibly even the Templars, who were rumored to have hidden their treasures on the island. This stone, dubbed the Navigator's Tablet, provided the first solid link between Oak Island and the Old World, suggesting that the legends might have a basis in reality. As the excavation continued, Helen's team stumbled upon an old well, hidden beneath centuries of overgrowth. Inside, they found a collection of artifacts that painted a vivid picture of life on the island centuries ago. Among the items were beautifully preserved pieces of pottery, tools and a set of gold coins from various European countries. These coins, dating back to the 16th and 17th centuries, hinted at the island's role in the global trade networks of the time and suggested that it had been a site of considerable economic importance. But the most groundbreaking find came when Helen discovered a series of underground tunnels. These tunnels, painstakingly carved out of the rock, crisscrossed beneath the island, 
creating a labyrinthine network that defied explanation. Within these tunnels, Helen's team uncovered a wealth of artifacts, including ancient manuscripts written in languages from across the globe. One particularly intriguing manuscript, written in Latin, detailed the construction of the tunnels and hinted at a hidden chamber containing a great and powerful treasure. The search for this hidden chamber became the focal point of Helen's expedition. Using advanced ground-penetrating radar, her team mapped out the tunnels and identified several promising locations. After months of meticulous excavation, they finally broke through into a large, cavernous space. What they found inside was beyond their wildest dreams. The chamber was filled with treasures that spanned centuries and continents. There were chests overflowing with gold and silver coins, jeweled artifacts, and religious relics. Among the most notable finds was a beautifully crafted cross, encrusted with precious gems, believed to have belonged to a prominent Templar knight. The cross, with its intricate design and historical significance, became known as the Templar's Cross and was hailed as one of the most important archaeological finds of the century. In addition to the treasures, the chamber contained a series of ancient maps and documents that provided unprecedented insights into the history of Oak Island and its mysterious inhabitants. These documents suggested that the island had been used as a secret base by various groups throughout history, including pirates, smugglers, and even revolutionaries. Each group had added to the island's network of tunnels and hidden chambers, creating a complex web of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Helen's discoveries on Oak Island did more than just uncover treasure. They reshaped our understanding of history. The artifacts and documents found in the tunnels provided tangible evidence that Oak Island had played a crucial role in various historical events, serving as a hidden hub for clandestine activities. These findings sparked a renewed interest in the island's history and led to further archaeological expeditions, each building on the foundation that Helen had laid. Her work also inspired a new generation of archaeologists and treasure hunters, eager to uncover the secrets that still lay hidden beneath the island's surface. Helen Sheldon became a household name, her discoveries chronicled in documentaries, books, and academic journals. Her determination, expertise, and willingness to embrace both modern technology and ancient lore made her a legend in her own right. The legacy of Helen Sheldon's work on Oak Island continues to this day. Each new find adds another piece to the puzzle, revealing more about the island's mysterious past and the people who sought to hide their treasures there. Her contributions have not only enriched our understanding of history, but have...